This is a kinematics problem with a proton moving in an electric field. The acceleration of the proton is constant and is equal to the um, electric force over the mass. So we have that the electric force on a proton or on any object, charged object, is QE. And we also have that F net is equal to MA. And since the only force acting is the electric force, we can totally neglect gravity here. We have that M times A is QE, or A is Q over M times E. Now, the electric field is vertically down with magnitude E, which means the, the acceleration of the electron is also down. And therefore, I'm going to write this as negative QE over MJ hat. So the magnitude of the acceleration is QE over M, and its direction is vertically down. Now, the charge on a proton is equal to just small e, and so substituting that in, the magnitude of, a, of the acceleration will be minus little e times big E over m. And that's what we'll use in our kinematic equations for the constant acceleration of this proton. Now, the problem is just a basic projectile problem, where we have a velocity at an angle theta above the horizontal. And the path of the projectile will just be a parabolic path where its maximum height, h max, is that. And its maximum horizontal distance, we'll just call delta x, is that. OK, so to analyze a projectile, it's two-dimensional motion. I'll split the analysis into the x and y directions. In the x direction, the initial velocity is v0 cos theta. And in the y direction, the initial velocity is v0 sine theta. The displacement in the x direction is just v0 x times t. There is no acceleration in the x direction. And the displacement in the y direction is v0 y t plus 1 half a t squared. The velocity at any time in the y direction is vy squared is v0y squared plus 2a delta y. And those should be the only equations that we need for this problem. So let's first find the maximum height. Find h max. Well, we know um, up at the top of its flight there that the y velocity, vy, is equal to 0. Vx is not equal to 0. It's still equal to v0 cos theta because it never changes. But vy is 0. So using the third equation in the y column, we have that 0 is equal to v0y squared plus 2a delta y. So delta y is negative v0y squared over 2a to be negative v0 sine theta all squared over 2 times negative e e over m. So that's equal to, negatives are gone, we have v0 squared m sine squared theta over 2 little e big e. And that is indeed our h max. So h max is v0 squared m sine squared theta over 2 e e. That's part one. Now we want to find delta x, the maximum horizontal distance. So to find delta x, we need t, we need the time. So we'll notice that um, um, when the position is delta x, delta y is 0 when delta x is max. And so using the second equation in our y column, we have that 0 is v0yt plus 1 half a t squared. There are actually two solutions. One solution is that t equals 0, and that's just where it starts. But the other solution 
if you cancel the t, is when 1 half a times t is negative v0y, or negative v0 sine theta. And so we can get that the time when that proton is at its maximum horizontal position would be equal to negative v0 sine theta times 2 over a, or 2mv0 sine theta over eb, because a is just our e, e over m negative. So that's where the negative went. Okay, so we can sub that into delta x. Delta x is v0x times t at any time. And at that specific time, I put the v0 cos theta, and then the 2mv0 sine theta over eb, which is equal to mv0 squared sine 2 theta over e p, and that's the final answer. And I've used the identity that 2 sine theta cos theta is equal to the sine of 2 theta.